What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hope you like this video. All my social media is in the de description box. Now, look, this is a quick drop. I'm not going to give y'all a play-by-play. -play. It's just a quick overview. Tonight, we had the premiere of a new show on BET called Games People Play. Um, I felt a little... I was, it was a little weird. It was starring Lauren London, and, you know, with everything going on, I'm looking at her, and I'm just like, wow. You know, she can't even enjoy this moment because I'm sure she is still very very much in mourning and processing and dealing with her family however um it's star Lauren London and her co-star is um what's his last name Jackson I think isn't that Dro from Insecure I know I know him from somewhere I think it's Dro from Insecure but anyway uh it's too many people too many names it's too much going on so let me just give you a quick overview of how the whole thing went down so Marcus King is the main character. Lauren London plays his wife. Um, he's moving to, he's a basketball player, star player in the league, moving to L.A. to get a fresh start with a brand new team. He has a history of cheating. Um, his last um, little fling or whatever is missing. So that's one of the big parts of the storyline. We start the episode off seeing Lauren London attacking some chick that he's sleeping with, and then we flash back to, I guess, how we got to that point. So... Lauren London's best friend is like a celebrity blogger, you know, and she's just, um, she did an expose on, um, a family first, you know, gay people, a horrible preacher, found him in a, um, a sex club and she exposed him, which got her a new job, basically starting up this new entertainment blog. She finds herself at a crossroads at the end of the episode because basically, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go back. We have another character who's Marcus King's best friend. He got he a little shady character. He's got some gambling situation going on. That sort of got Lauren caught up. She went to the hotel room looking for her husband, thinking her husband was cheating. She ran into the dude that was there to collect. That really wasn't fleshed out all that well to me, but whatever. Then um, we have the um, wannabe actress slash call girl who ended up sleeping with Marcus King. She had got caught up in some little call girl situation. She ended up sleeping with him. And she, her agent told her she got to get her social media presence up if she want to start landing some jobs. So she's using the fact that she's sleeping with him as a way to hashtag her way into some money. So she's taking pictures of his body parts and teasing, I'm, you know, I'm sleeping with this, <coughs> excuse me, star basketball player. And basically she's going to sell her story to the highest bidder. Um, which ends up being um, the Lauren London's best friend at the end of the episode. Her boss tells her basically, look, I outbid everybody. You got the expose. Of course, not knowing that she's going to be exposing Lauren London's um, husband, her best friend's husband. Um, we figure out pretty much close to the, because at first they were like, well, who's that bot button? Who's that leg? And who's that that? We find out at the end, she figures out it's her husband. She sees it because she was suspicious anyway. But then she finally saw his back. She had scratched up his back when they had sex. So she knew it was her and knew it was him. The best friend was there when she realized it. So, of course, the best friend knew. But her thing is, yeah, this is my job, but that's my best friend. So we're going to see how that whole dynamic plays out. Um, that's pretty much how... That's pretty much the whole thing, how it went down. It looks like the big storyline is going to be the missing um, the mix, the missing woman. The police already came by to ask him once. And at the end of the episode, the police are at his door because they found the body. So I'm guessing that the whole thing is going to be that they're going to suspect that he killed this woman, killed his mistress, or what have you. Um, Lauren and him know each other from college. Um, no one, you know... They met in college, and she had asked, she was in law school, dropped out of law school because she got pregnant. But, of course, they got married, and, you know, I ain't going to say they lived happily ever after because the man's sleeping with half of L.A., but they're together, and that's that whole little piece. Um, her and her boy, her and her best friend know each other from college. There was a scene where she's in the park, and she um, runs into somebody I guess she knew in undergrad, a guy, and they exchange numbers and stuff. And you could tell he's interested in her, or he's kind of you know, um, likes her or whatever. So I, this is just a quick drop, y'all. I wasn't going to give y'all no whole big play-by-play. -play. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, with this, with this show. One, it's kind of all over the place. Two, the acting ain't that great. Um, 
we're going to see. I'm going to give it a couple of episodes. I'm going to see how it goes because that's just the pilot. You know, sometimes the pilot episodes, they see things, they adjust, they change. So we're going to see what next week brings us. Um, it's a regular, you know, it's a regular series, so we'll see what next week brings us. But that's just a little quick drop. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Go check it out. I'm not saying don't go see it because I'm not saying don't go watch it because it's not a horrible, horrible show. But it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot going on in one episode. It was a whole lot of moving parts in one episode, in the first episode. And like I said, in some scenes, the acting was a little bit, eh. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments, peace.